easier than it was. Hey all, welcome to a series on Jurassic World Evolution. It's a bit of a micromanagement game involving Jurassic Park, obviously. Um, so I'm going to start from the beginning and make episodes while people watch them. Let's get on with it, shall we? say welcome. My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. I'm Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side, but watch out for dinosaurs. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, now he's shut up. We can make a start. So yeah, the first thing we need is a lab. Which we can place down there. Let's focus on what you're here to do. Which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, Playing with nature's laws? What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the the last time. There's always a last time. And a next. Yeah, they tend to pop up and um, just start talking over you. There's nothing that can be done about that, unfortunately. Anyway, let's release some dinosaurs. Life, it begins. The most precious moment. The result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique, 
And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. <laughs> The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours? theirs and mine welcome to the islands so here's our basic conundrum we want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants look everyone's fear object myself included is to have these animals running free and loose in the park but we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. I do apologize the first well few done. and you'll notice absolutely no hint of sarcasm unless you listen real closely <laughs> so what I meant to say is that completing that contract has raised your standing your reputation if you will with the security division this means they'll be willing to give you more difficult missions Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. As I was saying, um, they like to just talk over the top. Uh, they butt in remorselessly. The job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. Yeah, it's just endless. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. I'm going to need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. 
So finally he shuts up. Um, yeah, I set up a expedition centre, which will get fossils and things to try and get the genome for various dinosaurs. You extract the genomes in the fossil centre. We also have a research centre, which you know does genetic research for traits. New buildings. You extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Yeah, building upgrades, buildings, new buildings, new enclosure items for making pens, genetic research, and so on. But right now. We're just going to be working on DNA and selling things. Dr. Dua, this is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. going to be a little bit tedious. Um, I've only got a couple of basic dinos at the moment. I'm building a hotel which should hopefully increase things. Okay, next you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island.
It looks like you've run out of power. That's not good. Build more power stations or increase your output. The Science Division is always on the lookout for ways to improve our bottom line. Yes, you've replenished our stock of young dinosaurs. That will keep our research operating at 100% efficiency. What an interesting op- I'm Owen Grady, Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors, more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. I wanted to tell you how much I appreciate what you've done for the science division. So I guess I just did. Hey, I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Right. This next bit is gonna sound a little crazy because frankly, it is. But we are gonna encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge. Yes. So at this point, I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy. The ACU, or Asset Containment Unit, should be your first port of call to bring down a rampaging dinosaur.
Okay, we have our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. While I understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. You have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor. I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Right now, we have our hands full. You'll need to call in the offshore transport team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. En route to pick up the asset. We don't always get offers like this. Consider it carefully. Asset in transit. And that the job finished, true and square. Look, the thing is, we're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these animals under control. God knows they're working out ways to exploit our weaknesses. Guess we'll find out who gets to the limits of our abilities first, us or them. Ever vigilant. And that's always been the challenge of the Jurassic Industrial Complex. Exploitation versus security. The immense potential for profit and for violence.
knew you were my kind of person. Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous, and I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. I wasn't entirely sure about this one, but you proved me wrong. This contract can really help our bottom line. The more buildings we have, the more chance to increase our revenue. When things go wrong, who do they turn to first? You guessed it. So consider this contract part of us always being ready. Each new discovery furthers our understanding. It's valuable work. Take it. I see new buildings. Looks like you were on top of it. I wasn't sure about this contract, but no matter, the higher-ups were pleased, so you should be as well. Without exceptional security, nothing else here would be possible. That's our mandate. And on Islam and Seros, you're showing the rest of us how it's done. You're deserving of this reward.
Security isn't always clean or easy, but it is always necessary. So look this contract over. met the objectives and secured a victory. I was expecting no less. I can't wait to see that. I'm not sure what this is a picture of. And I'm not sure I want to know. Thanks for helping create entertainment. Hey, it's Isaac. How you doing? I got some cool stuff you need. I have to say, the early part of this game is very slow. You just don't have money to do anything with.
our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later. There's a new contract that I want you to consider. Intelligence is an essential part of security. We got a contract for photography that's just become available. Give it a once over. There is a new job available, and I know just the person to do it.
supply finished. I myself have dabbled in photography. Nothing as good as this, mind you. What can I say? You did good. Yeah, so you um, you analyse the fossils and things that are brought back, and from there you can incubate dinosaurs. And here comes the uh, the higher end triceratops.
Josh, you got a sick dinosaur on your hands. It's time to treat it. Or what comes next, that's going to be on your hands as well. You need to medicate that animal if you are to save it. Sick dinosaurs can become potentially dangerous dinosaurs. You are upping the risk factor in the facilities. I've done it. We are on the path to a pure strain dinosaur. This will definitely shift the paradigm. I can't ignore this accomplishment. Oh, with your help, obviously. That goes without saying. But under my direction. I think we make a good team. Let's do this again. I'll let you know when. I've witnessed Dr. Dua flail and fail before. Now with you, she believes she is on her way. Does she really think she can accomplish what I have not? My advice, take this contract. This is the beginning of getting higher amounts of guests and uh, it'll be my first carnivorous dinosaur. So we've just got to wait for this to incubate and hope that it actually does. Um, they do fail every so often, but what can you do?
It's a dangerous world. And this place makes it more dangerous. This contract can help us with security here. With a rep like yours, you'll soon have the loyalty of the entire security division. I do like the way that when you put um, put trees up, all the parrots fly away. It's these nice little touches. Far away now. And here she comes. Oh no. That one. Ceratosaurus. There are distinctive spines that run down its back and a bladed horn on its head. <laughs> Just what you don't want to run into when you're out there alone or in a group.
watching you work? Now that's what I call entertainment. Something's come up that could be interesting and profitable. I guess this means congratulations are in order. Feeder supplies inbound. Confirmed. I am all about the show, and with these dinosaurs, we have one unlike any other on the planet. Theme parks rely on drawing people in. And what is more attractive than new dinosaurs? Well, me, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, what I'm saying is let's get some fresh dinos in the hopper. I don't know what's worse, treating these creatures like grist for the mill or propping them up as curiosities. Really great job on that contract. Happy guests is what we strive to maintain here on the islands. We do that by making sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos, just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> Am I right?
things are looking good around here, huh? I love what you're doing with the place. I like this contract. You should too. I'm bringing this contract to you while it's still hot. I like what I'm seeing. Let's keep it up. Satisfaction is what we aim to give our guests. Make them appreciate the little things. And the big things with the teeth and glassy eyes that can swallow them whole. running at maximum happiness and our guest numbers are up as a result that's what makes the entertainment division the envy of the rest we get the results am i right when the parks are running well our scientific research improves of course i'd never tell this to isaac directly heard it mm, I, I was going to add that... no 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 too late heard it later doc oh So there we have it. Yes, Site C, more commonly known as Isla Muerta, a newly developed island. The name, roughly translated, then I do mean roughly, the island of the dead. Fitting, humorous even. Yeah, so I've achieved the three missions on the starter island. And I'm being passed the opportunity to move to the next one. But ideally, I want to complete every unlock and get myself up to a five star resort. So I'm going to stay put for the time being. And I think we'll uh, leave it there. Now let me just save the career. And um, we'll see you when I get round to trying it again. Good night all.